medicine, so you got to get the knowledge. So um, I do have a doctor in chiropractic, which has limitation in scope. So I decided to go out and get my PhD in stem cell biology. Um, I did have the honor of treating a lot of uh, Olympic athletes. Ron Brown, he got the gold medal in the 400 relay, and he was uh, uh, the fastest man in the NFL. He was a wide receiver for the Rams. Um, so I started laser meds. So we diagnose uh, chronic pain and inflammation with uh, infrared thermography light, laser thermometers, and we stimulate your body's stem cells with lasers as well. So everything we do deals with light. The reason why, at conception, when the sperm hits the egg, this is what happens. A flash of light appears. It's a phenomenon that we don't know why that happens. Now, the sperm is a stem cell, so is the egg. So there's no better way to stimulate your stem cells with certain frequency of light. Um, so these are some of the case studies. This is going to be published on PubMed. This is an 86-year-old female with a bone-on-bone -bone knee on the left. Six months after stem cells with laser irradiation, you could clearly see regeneration of the cartilage space in the knee. Now the patient, five years later, is 91. To this day, she can still go up and down the stairs without pain. Now how can a 90-year-old get regeneration from a stem cell? Because a stem cell is not from her own body, it's already old. They're from donated birth tissue stem cells. Because a stem cell is young, they could regenerate a long time as long as you stimulate it with certain frequencies of light. Then we had an L5S1 patient with the, pretty much a bone-on-bone -bone L5S1 disc. Um, needed a fusion surgery, did not want that. We injected the umbilical cord stem cells with laser. You can see regeneration in the L5S1 space. I don't care that happened. The most important thing, no more back pain, no more sciatica, all right? Not every patient gets this result. Now, why is that? Because stem cell therapy depends on two things. The quality and health of the birth tissue, is the donor healthy? Did the mother have a healthy lifestyle? No smoking, drinking, she exercised, was she young? And then was the baby healthy? And then two, the health of the host, the recipient, you. If you're not healthy, if you drop the stem cells in a hostile environment, they're not gonna grow. So how do we make your body ready to receive the stem cells in a healthy environment? Dr. Yu Ibu. What is Ibu? How often do you change the oil in your car? Every 5,000 miles. What happens if you never change the oil in your car? Your engine's gonna blow because the, the oil gets thick and dirty. What happens if you never clean the oil in your blood? The plaque, mold, bacteria, inflammatory proteins, your heart and blood vessels get plaqued and the engine fails in your heart. Number one cause of death, heart disease and stroke. So how do we get the plaque and inflammation out of your blood. You can't unless you physically filter it out. That's what Ibu does. So a venous blood is dark, poorly oxygenated, and it's placked up. After we clean it with the Ibu and ozone and UV light, you see how bright and oxygenated the blood is, arterial blood. You so will have two IVs in your veins, one in left, one in right. The blood is pumped out from one arm goes through a circuit, through a filtration system, like a dialysis, which gets rid of the fat-soluble molecules, the proteins, everything that are abnormal, like dead cells, like pesticides and herbicides, like viruses and bacteria that are bound to protein molecules. It filters that all out, then gets oxygenated with ozone, goes through light therapy, UV lights and red light and blue light, which all have different benefits. Once that filtration is done, it takes about 45 minutes, you will see that on one arm, that blood is being pumped out. It's darker blood. The blood that is pumping back into you is bright red. It's an oxygenated, clean blood. It could take five to seven liter of your blood, which goes through this whole system and gets all clean and oxygenated. So what's the benefit of it? Ozone has been used over 100 years. 
but this is not only ozonating the blood, it's also filtrating, cleans your blood, so blood flow will be much better. Ozone elevates your NAD production, is important for your mitochondria, which is the ATP production. So so what's the best way to change the oil in your blood to get all the inflammatory plaque, proteins, mold, bacteria, spike proteins, heavy metals, pesticides, herbicides, you name it. So after we filter the blood, um, and by the way, there are starting to be some studies. The Cochrane Report reports it's safe and effective for preventing peripheral artery disease, stimulating you know, more blood flow to extremities for peripheral neuropathy. Um, Ozone through like the 10 pass can only filter a certain amount of blood. This filters out two liters at a time. The human body has five to seven liters. So if you have six liters of blood, you gotta do it three times to filtrate your entire blood volume, okay? Peripheral artery disease, of course, it helps. Here's our current machine, it's been modernized. Evo extra blood, corporeal blood oxygenation and ozonation. So Mark is on his second Evo. And the reason why we're doing this, we are filtering out all the toxins, plaque, mold, bacteria, viruses in this electrophoresis filter. See the plaque coming out? All these Looks like snow. Proteins, Imagine that stuff in your arteries. Beta-1 microglobulins, which does cause cancer, plaque, probably heavy metals, and bacteria and viruses that should not be there. And then ozone goes in the filter and it kills viruses, bacteria, pathogens, also oxygenates the blood. And the UV light also disinfects and irradiates the blood. And you can see the before blood is dark, thick, plaqued up, um, inflamed. You can see the after blood is licorice red, uh, thin, um, oxygenated and ozonated. And you feeling pretty good now, Mark? I always do when I have Mark has oil, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, so he didn't respond well to the exosomes, the IV, because they died right away. But after clearing out the blood, those exosomes are going to have a more anti-inflammatory effect for a longer period of time. Um, this patient has breast cancer. She has more energy, less pain. Um, he has type 2 diabetes. Uh, it causes peripheral neuropathy of the feet. Um, with the Ibu, he got feeling his feet for the first time in a year, OK? Because they're causing more perfusion in the peripheral extremities. Um, Tim did it because he wanted to catch up to his wife. Women live nine years longer because they bleed once a month. So they get rid of their dead uh, senescent cells. We don't. So you're fooling the body that you're getting, you're bleeding, so it signals your body to make more stem cells from your bone marrow, okay? We stack that with the exosomes. Exosomes are like Navy SEALs. If you drop the Navy SEALs in a hostile environment, they're gonna kill the bad guy, they're gonna die. You give them air support, anyone see gunships? They're gonna kill the bad guys and the gunship's gonna take them to safety. That air support is the air ozone to make sure your Navy SEAL exosomes last the fight. Fight inflammation, kill pain, viruses, bacteria, cancer, heart disease, what have you, okay? By the way, yeah, I did treat some of the Navy SEALs, so it's kind of a funny story. And um, we also stack that with a Myers cocktail. We have different formulations, energy booth, it has trace elements, so carnitine, B12, immunoforte has different trace elements, more glutathione. Um, regenerative medicine, there's a lot of ways to do it. You know, you can have autologous stem cells, B cells are very small, embryonic like stem cells, we can get them out of quiescent state with lasers. Uh, Wharton's jelly is great for joints, cord blood is great for IV. We like to use the exosomes because you could fit more in a vial. Um, our exosomes happen to have a trillion count per vial. Um, who, who went to Bill Falloon's talk last night about reversing aging in mice with the young plasma and four trillion exosomes? I just found out he's using the same exosomes that we do the lab. We advertise one trillion, there's really four trillion, okay? Um, I did write a book on how stem cells signaling, the signaling mechanisms. Um, you can get a free digital copy at that website. Get a, get a physical copy on Amazon. So remember, when you do regenerative medicine, you want a, a healthy donor, confirm the donor was healthy, young, and make sure you're healthy, otherwise your stem cells are gonna to go to waste, okay? Thanks for watching, all right, yeah.